What's up everybody, Derek here with Nerd Cave Gaming, here to give you my thoughts on the brand new Nintendo console, no longer called the NX, but the Nintendo Switch. And that name kind of caught me off guard a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Got here to work, uh, found the trailer, came out at, I believe, 9.01 a.m. Central Time, and I saw the title, First Look at Nintendo Switch, and I was thinking, well, this is kind of interesting, I guess. So I watched the trailer, and I still don't really care for the name. It just really does nothing to wow me, but it's also not a make-or-break thing. Like, I'm not going to not buy it because I don't care for the name. But the actual console itself, the purpose of this trailer was to showcase what the actual console could do, like what its capabilities were, or the general idea of it. Uh, and we saw various examples, um, a guy playing Zelda in his home. His dog wants him to take him outside for a walk. So he takes the sides off the controller, puts them on the handheld portion, which is actually inside the console itself, pulls the handheld out, and just like that, it instantly transfers from the, the TV to the handheld. That looked really cool to me. So from there, we see the guy sitting on a park bench. He's playing Zelda still on the handheld. Then we cut to an airport. This guy's showing off the game to this woman that he's sitting with. Gets on the plane takes the controllers off the sides of the uh, of the tablet, puts the tablet on a little kickstand, puts it on the table, and starts playing Skyrim, kind of like this. The controller, I'd say, is probably going to be like that big. I know that's probably not an accurate measurement for those of you who are watching the video, but it just showed cool examples, like taking it to a party. Um, these guys were playing basketball. They stopped to take a break, and they played the NBA game. Just showing off the general capabilities of it, it's something that Nintendo needed to do a couple of months ago. And I know it's the old old saying, better late than never, but I'm so happy that they did it. I was really impressed with the presentation of it. I think this console has a lot of potential. It could be a possible game changer when it comes to consoles. Like if this thing, if the hardware is there, if the battery life is there, then this could really change how console games are done. And it, it just looked really cool. And as a kind of a long-suffering Nintendo fan, I was thinking to myself, this is what the Wii U should have been. It shouldn't have just been something for you guys to put out just for the sake of doing a new console. But it actually looks like it could be a lot of fun. And the fact that there's such strong third-party support like from developers like EA and Bethesda it's a really good sign, and it shows that maybe Nintendo is going to start gaining some traction a little bit. Now, I do have some questions about it. Um, I do want to see a little bit more with it. I'm very curious about the battery life of the handheld, because if the battery life is only you know an hour, hour and a half, I don't think that's going to be good enough. But it needs to be something ridiculously huge for people to really buy into it, because Nintendo has left a lot of uh, a lot of sour taste in people's mouths, and they really need to do something to win a lot of people back. I'm also very curious about the launch lineup. Uh, we saw glimpses of a new Mario, possibly a new Mario Kart, possibly a new Splatoon. Um, I'm hoping that those aren't just ports. I hope they're actual updated things. I was talking with Zach about this earlier. But what Nintendo needs to do is, by November, they need to announce what their launch lineup is going to be, and they need to stick with it. If a game isn't going to come out until, like, three or four months down the line, then just say we have, a oh, Pikmin 4 coming soon. Not saying they're doing a Pikmin 4, but I think that they really need to focus on winning a lot of people back. This was a great first step but I do want to see more. With the mini NES coming out, with all the nostalgia with Pokemon, they've got the new Pokemon games coming out soon. It's kind of a good time to be a Nintendo fan again. I, I haven't felt this excited about seeing anything Nintendo-related since they announced Breath of the Wild, which looks fantastic on the, on the Switch. I'm still going to have to keep remembering that name. But it's... Uh, Breath of the Wild is going to be a launch title. We know that for sure. I'm hoping maybe a new Mario or a new Mario Kart. Uh, we'll just have to see. I'm really excited to see what they do over the next couple of months. 
Um, I do want to say that it, it was worth the wait. I was getting a little impatient, and for those who know me, you know I'm a pretty patient person, but I was getting a little anxious with Nintendo not saying anything. And then last night they announced, oh, NX is being revealed tomorrow. So I'm happy they did that. I'm super excited. I'm definitely getting this day one. I'm going to pre-order it as soon as pre-orders are available. I'm going to get Zelda for sure. Depending on what other games come out, I'm definitely going to get those as well. So I'm really excited. I loved it. I think the system has a lot of potential. And I hope that it does make Nintendo relevant again because it has been a long, long time. So for that, um, I believe that's all I have to say. Uh, Check out the rest of our content on our YouTube channel. Be sure to check out um, our weekly podcast we do, the Nerd Cave Podcast. Uh, Check out our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash nerdcave if you want to get access to all of our content early like our various podcasts we do. Um, in both audio and video form. So definitely check that out. Uh, If you guys would like to support us, we definitely appreciate it. Um, On behalf of Zach and Robbie, this is Derek saying, have a week.